Are you just starting out in photography and you're looking for some tips on how to keep your lenses clean? Well, stick around because in this episode of Photography Tips for Beginners, that is exactly what I'm going to be talking about. And clean lenses mean clean photos, so don't go away. Hi, I'm Barry Callister for Barry Callister Photography, giving you hints, tips and tricks for better nature photography. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching one of my videos. My channel is all about photography tutorials, Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials and gear reviews and other nature photography related stuff. So if that excites you, consider subscribing and make sure to ding that notification bell when you do so that you don't miss any future videos. Also hang around to the end of the video today because I have some super exciting news about an online resource where you can learn about photography gear, photography skills, and most importantly, how to create an online business of your very own that will give you more time for photography. It's absolutely, it's super exciting and I can't wait to share it with you, so hang around for that. Let's jump into this clean camera lens video. So how do you keep your lenses clean? Well, there's a lot of ways of doing it and there's a lot of products out there on the market that will help you do it. But my favorite is the lens pen. These are just a tiny little pen shaped tool with a soft goat's hair brush at one end, which you use for brushing off dust particles and hairs and stuff like that. And at the other end, you have this carbon infused tip that is good for removing finger marks and, and other greasy sticky things that might get onto your lens. It's great with the carbon because carbon sucks up dirt and grime and it holds it in so it won't smear it back onto your lens. Now these come in various uh, different models as well. There's one for your filters, for cleaning UV filters and ND filters. And there's also a micro lens pen, which is great for cleaning the viewfinder on your camera and also the lenses of your point and shoot cameras or your mobile phone. So they're a really handy little tool. So check out the links in the video description below. There's um, links down there that will take you to lens pen where you can read a bit more about them, see pricing and you can even purchase from there if you want to. I'll just give you a quick run through of how to use it. I have done a review and tutorial on the lens pen video and I'll link that up right now. So if you want to have a look at that later, go and check that out. But right now, just quickly, you clean the surface of your lens first with the brush. So this is going to move away any dust particles or hairs or anything like that that might be on the lens. So you just brush it lightly across like so. And then if there's anything else on the lens that you can see, you get the carbon tip out and you just work it across the surface of the lens like so and that will remove any greasy fingerprints or watermarks or anything like that that might be on there. And then at the end you can give it another quick brush over with the goat's hair brush if you want, if anything else has fallen onto the surface of the lens while you were cleaning it. And one other thing that is really handy for removing dust and light particles from your lens is a blower. Um, I'll just grab this one behind me here. <laughs> This um, is LensPen's Hurricane Blower. This is fantastic. This thing is so powerful. Um, so you just, um, it's pretty self-explanatory, just uh, blow it on the surface of your lens and it just blows off any hair or dust or whatever and away you go. So they are good. They can fit in your camera bag and they're easy to use. Now having a clean lens is not really as important as it used to be when we had film cameras. With digital photography you can just remove blemishes and spots in Photoshop or Lightroom but it's still good to have a really clean lens. So how do you keep them clean once you've got them clean using your lens pen? Well my first tip here is to replace your lens cap when you're not shooting. So for example if you're out doing landscape photography and you're setting up for a new angle or you're moving from one location to another or you might have you might be getting something out of your camera bag you might be taking a phone call pop your lens cap back on while you do that then any airborne stuff is not going to end up all over the front of your lens and it'll stay nice and clean I don't suggest leaving your lens cap on though while you're walking around if you're a nature photographer or any other type of photographer really. I mean, at any moment, any something that you want to capture could happen. 
And if you put that lens cap on and you forget that you've got it on there, you're gonna miss a really important shot. So use your lens hood instead. Keeping your lens hood on will not only protect your photos from sun flare, which is obviously what it's for, but it'll stop a great deal of airborne stuff from getting on your lens. So that'll keep it clean. And also you can take shots whenever you need to because the front of your lens is not covered. So that's a good idea, lens hood. My next tip for nice clean lenses is to always, always pop your lens caps on when you finish shooting for the day. Before you put your camera back in the camera bag, pop the lens cap on. If Never leave a lens sitting around at home on a table or in a cupboard or wherever without a lens cap on it because stuff will settle on the lens and you'll have to clean it a lot more often. Now I suggest that you clean your lenses every time before you go out shooting. So before you load up your camera bag, just grab out your lenses, pop the lens cap off, have a look at the glass. If it's clean, great. Pop the lens cap back on, you're good to go. If not, it might just need a quick brush over with the lens pen brush, or maybe a quick swirl around with the carbon tip and you'll be right to go. And if you do this every time you go out, you'll find that your lenses won't need a really good thorough clean and they won't be stubborn to clean because you're not getting sticky, grimy stuff on there that's been on there for months. So clean them every time and you'll find that you won't need to thoroughly clean them unless of course you're shooting in really grimy environments. So there you go, there's some handy hints and tips on how to clean your camera lenses and also keep them clean. I hope that you've learned a lot from this video. Now remember at the start of the video I did promise you some super exciting news and I'm not going to disappoint. I am proud right now to introduce you to my brand new website. This is photographersfreedom.com. It's an online resource designed to give you the time, gear and skills to be the best photographer you can be. So go over there and check it out. The link is in the video description below. You'll find gear reviews, camera tutorials, Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials. All of my YouTube videos are over there. There will be new blog posts coming every week. There will always be something new to learn over at photographersfreedom.com. And I know that you're going to grow as a photographer so much through using this website. So be sure to check it out and come back regularly. Be sure before you leave here today to check the links in the video description below. There is links down there to lens pen where you can learn more information about them pricing info and you can also purchase via those links if you want to so until next time i'm barry callister for photographersfreedom.com get out there take some wicked shots and i'll see you soon mm -hmm.